Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So in this video, we're going to do the important setups before we start building our API. So in the first video, I have give you a complete overview about the project that how we're going to navigate through this entire API development. And I have also provided you the startup file. So make sure you get the startup file and that we have a couple of demo data, which we're going to use to test our API. We have the images, we have the demo data, we have the all the JSON data. Okay, so make sure you get the startup file and to get it, let me show you how you can get that. And this is the Discord server I have created. So if you have any problem while building this API, any type of error all the question you can ask into this discord servers and i have also provided you the starter file here in this blog post okay and if you come up here you will have the final code in which we have connected the smart contract with front end here you will have the template code separately here you have the smart contract so all the codes are already provided to you so make sure if you have any problem write your queries here other community member will help you if they can't i will help you okay so make sure you join and get the startup file and i want to apologize in advance because you can heard the background noise currently i'm having construction in my apartment so if any kind of sounds comes just ignore and just focus on the project okay so let's come back to the code editor now we have to install a couple of packages before we start writing a single piece of code in our api so let's see the documentation first here we are on the node.js official website so the first tool we need is node.js make sure you install node.js in your computer if you are a mac user do it for mac do it for the windows okay so come to this download section and here you will find this version so windows mac and if you want to have a customized npm package you can do that but i would recommend you to choose either this one or this one okay so this is the tool we're going to use and we're going to refer to this node.js documentation very frequently so you can able to find all the information about this node.js so they are using the latest es6 feature of javascript okay so we're going to focus more on this so make sure you install node.js in computer now the second tool we need is this express okay so this express will help us to create our server okay so we're going to refer to this documentation a lot here you will find the complete guide that how you can create the server how you can make the risk request on the apis everything you will find so make sure you open this web website as well and the third one is this mongoose okay for the data modeling and for the queries that we're going to use mongoose as a data backend server and we're going to make queries on this so here you will find all the methods which are there we have the schema type we have the connection model document subdomain queries in that you will have more options so we're going to find out each of this you can see delete many find find by id so we're going to cover each one of these in detail okay so that's all we're going to create and focus okay so make sure to you open this express and you can open this mongoose so these are the two website you should open the documentation because we're going to refer to this very frequently okay so let's come back to the code editor and let's install express first okay so let's come here and to install that all you have to do is to simply copy this one and simply copy and come back to your code editor now we have to initialize our project so simply open up your terminal and we're going to clear it and we're going to start the application so we'll type npm in it okay hit enter and here we're going to give the name to our project so i'll call it let's say general api Hit enter and here you can give the name to your api so hit enter and you can give the description so let me say this is general api and then converted to nft marketplace okay you can type whatever you want now let's hit enter and hit enter and here you can define keywords you can define the authors simply type the authors and you can give your name hit enter and here we have created the package json file clear the terminal and here you can see if you click on this here you will have all the details which you have provided there okay so name version description index and script so everything we have so close this one and simply open up your terminal and now we're going to install the important tools so the first tool we want to install is express okay so you can either type npm install or i for shorthand and make sure you install this version version 4 okay so this is the stable version okay in which i have used to build the api so make sure you install the exact version Four. so hit enter so here we have installed successfully now clear the terminal simply and come back to the package json file and here you will find the version we have installed is 4.18.1 okay so make sure you install the exact version which i'm using in this project okay and here you will have the node module and that you will have all the dependency so simply close this one and open up your terminal and we're going to install one more package this which is a node mod okay so here i'm on the npmjs.com and we're going to install this node mod because we don't want to check the testing when we are getting making those requests on our api we don't want to do that testing on the browser okay we can able to do that on our terminal as well okay so for that we're going to use this node mod okay and make sure you install globally okay you can install as a project 
but I want to install as a globally. Okay, so I already have, but I'm still installing. Okay, so hit enter. So once you install, clear the terminal, and if you come back to the package JSON file, here you can see. Here you will won't find the the node modern package which you have installed because we have installed globally. Okay, so when you work on other project, you don't need to install anymore. Okay, because this one is installed globally, so you can start using directly straight away. Okay, so that's why you can't find that name here, node model. So this is the tool we have. It's working fine now. Let's bring this terminal down and let's come here. And now we have to create our first file for API. And the file name we're going to call is, let's say, app.js. Okay. And this file will be responsible for all the middlewares, all the logic of the application. Okay. That will make sense. Okay. That will make sense. Just wait and code along with me. So first thing we have to do is to import the express. And that's coming from express. So we have to say required and we have to say express. So here we have the package exported and here we're going to take a variable we'll call app and we're going to assign express on this we're going to call express so this app variable will have all the functionality of express which we're going to use okay so we have our app ready and now we have to create the port on which we want to create our servers okay so we're going to take a variable i'll call port and i want to create port let's say 3000 you can take it 4000 3000 8000 it's totally up to you okay so i'll and here we're going to create the server so we'll say app dot listen so this is how we create server in express okay so this is this listen keyword is coming from express and here we're going to define the port on which we want to create and here we're going to make this callback functions and here we're going to simply console log out the say our server so we'll say app running on port so we'll take this one and we'll just pass this dot Okay, so I have taken the template editor. It's simple JavaScript and I'm assigning the port on which I'm creating the server. So it's working fine. Now, that's the simple setup we have to do to start our server. Okay, so that's what we have done. Now, let's come back to the terminal and here we're going to start that. Okay, so to start, all we have to do is to type node mod. Okay, type node mod and app.js, the name of the file. Okay, so hit enter. And here you can see that our internal server is working in our terminal and you can able to find the message app running on port 3000 so hope this makes sense our app is working fine on this port and let's and the best part of this node mod is whenever you do any changes in your code or whenever you save your code it will automatically refresh now let's come here and now let's do a couple of method testing okay so let's come here and we're going to take a variable app get okay so this get method it's coming from express you can see the documentation okay it's coming from express and this will allow us to make a request on the api to get the data okay so here we have to define the port so this slash means is the main domain okay we don't have any subdomain but the main domain and here it takes a couple of properties so it take the query and it take the response and here we're going to send the data okay so let me repeat what we are doing here. We have this app variable on that we are get using this get method, which is coming from Express. Then we're defining the URL slash means the main directory. And here this take two variables. One is the query which user are making. And the second one is the response. Okay. Now here we have to send our response. So response and we will use this send. And here we're going to send the simple message. Hello, I am NFT marketplace API. So this will work. Okay. This will work. Simply save it. And to test this, all we have to do is come here. So we have already installed the Postman in the last video. So if you haven't watched, I have shown you that how you can do the request on this Postman. Okay, so make sure you install Postman and let's start making the request on the simple API which we have created. Okay, so here we have created this collection NFT. We'll close this one and I'm going to close this one and I'm going to simply write the port. Okay, so here we're going to use this get method. So let's come here. Here you can see we have this get and that's the method we're going to apply so get method and here we're going to construct the directory okay so every computer has its internal browser okay so make sure you type the same thing it will be the same for your computer as well okay so 127.0.0.1 and we have to define the port 3000 okay so that's the url we have to define okay means your main directory and now you can send the request if you send the request okay so we have some sort of error Okay, so this is the error we have on our URL. Click on this debug section. And that's the best part of this postman. It will show you all the data about the error handling. You can see we are getting the like header, urgent and postman token, connections, accept encoding, host. Okay, so that's all data we have here. So maybe we have some problem in our, and let's come here. We have to send the status code as well. So let's come here and define the status code. Okay, so this is a very general convention. Whenever you send any data, so each request has some status codes, whether it's failed, 
server error or okay so we're going to send the status code along with the request so that's how you can define so that's the status code we have save it and come back browser and let's make a request one more time so let's rewrite the url so we'll say we'll take this get method and here we're going to construct the url so that's what we have one and it's going to be 3000 okay my bar last time i selected 300 that's why we were getting that error it's 3000 okay if you hit the request and here you can see we are getting the message hello i am nft marketplace api and the status code we have defined is 200 okay is also displaying fine okay okay if you click on this raw preview this is how it will look on the browser and it will also work fine okay if you copy this url and open up your browser and simply paste it you can see the message is displaying so this is the get method we have created on our api and we are retrieving the data from the server okay so i hope this makes sense and even you can do much better this okay so let's do one thing simply bring the terminal and we're going to copy this and i'm going to copy comment and here i'm going to paste it so let's do some changes here so instead of send using the send method we're going to send data in the form of json okay in the form of object so it's a very general convention that sending data in the form of json okay so when you receive any data from any api whether it's a news api or a movie api those all data come in the form of a json okay so we should never send the data like this you can but it's not the optimal practice okay so we're going to send the data in the json format so let's convert this method to json so we'll say json and we're going to replace this and in the data we send in the form of object okay so bring this down we have to send the message so the message is going to be this you can send as many data as you want okay so like and the second one is going to be let's say api and here we're going to send the nft marketplace let's wrap this in double quote okay so you can send whatever you want in this json format okay so we are sending the message we are sending the api name and now we can make the request so if we come back in the postman so right now you can see the previous log we got this but if we hit the same request if we hit the same request you can see now the data is coming in the form of json and that's the data formatting we're going to follow in this entire api development okay so we have the message we have the api i want to show you that how you can send multiple options when you want to send the data okay so that's looking fine now let's come here and let's check the another method we have on express which is a post method so if you want to write any document let's test that as well so we'll call this post method and the same structure we have to follow slash and here we're going to say request response it's going to be an arrow function and here we're going to send the status code so response status code is going to be 201 so when you want to create any document in your api it, the status code is 201 okay for get method it's 200 and for create is 201 and here we're going to send the data back in the form of json so we'll take this json and here we're going to send the message okay we'll say your data simple message we want to send whenever they anyone hit the post request okay right now i'm just saying that how you can do multiple requests on the api but we're going to make it more reversed for our api okay so that's the simple setup we have now we can easily able to make the request and so first thing we have to do is to check this post and now we can make the request and here you can see your data so that's how we can do multiple requests this is the post one and let's come back to the get if you hit get you will get this data so that's how you can create server and retrieve data from and you can make the post request simply comment this out because we don't need this and that's the only thing i wanted to cover in this video that how you can create your internal server how you can retrieve the data post data use different method on express so if you still can have any confusion you can visit the express documentation there you will find all these methods but you can still write down in the comment section to know more about it okay i can help you in the next video we're going to talk about that how to create a proper url